in the mirror? Yes. Okay, I want you to pull it up as high as you can. Well, I disagree with you guys. I think Quahog is still pretty great. You know, it's hard for me to take the things you say serious. Give me all your money. Okay, okay. You have a white wallet? Yeah, just like Truman Capote. Who's Truman Capote? What a surprise. The muggers never heard of Truman Capote. There's a library card in there. Use it. Face. One more push. <sighs> there we go. It's a boy. And he's got a gun! And now we wait. Oh, no. They took my gym shoes. Sorry, glutes. No blasting today. They took my dirty rope that was tied in a knot. They stole the chair I use in the shower. They stole all far away from all the crime and problems of the big city. I'm reading you, Lois. I'm reading you loud and clear. Hi, I'm Peter Griffin. Um, I'm looking for a wholesome place. Hey, Lois, you know how I'm always buying things impulsively? Well, that's going to be very hard to do now that we're living on a farm. What? What are you talking about? Um, a farm, Lois? It's where vegetables live? Peter, you want... Uh, I did say that. And Chris, you've been telling me how you wanted to watch animals humping other animals. What might not be okay with it? That's true. And Meg, you yourself said lip gloss unicorns chanting Tatum something something bullcrap. You were listening the whole time? Don't you see? I'm in, Dad. Me too. All right, let's do it. Hey, what's going on? Well, we've made a decision as a family, Brian. We've decided to take you to a nice big farm upstate. W what? A farm with... This is amazing! We're gonna be rich! Rich and gay? Come here. <laughs> Peter, what are you doing? Well, Lois, a big part of owning a farm is crossing a road very slowly with cows. Now get in line, you! Hey, I thought I told you kids to go plow in the field. But, Dad, we've been plowing all morning. The Basque region? <laughs> the Basque region's pretty big. North, south? Southern Basque. How much should each almond weigh? 0.8 ounces? Sorry, we only have 0.6s. Ah. Hang on, let me check the return slot. I'm sorry, it hasn't been returned yet. I have a poster from the proposal you can look at. You'll get most of the story. Huh, they seem pretty mismatched. There you go. Look, it's like I've been saying, farming is very difficult. When? W when, when did you say... And so, as I look out at your smiling faces filled with hope, all I can think is, you are completely screwed. As Martin Luther King once said, ouch, I've been shot. Thank you. Oh my god, it's a tornado! And it's coming this way! We gotta run! Well, hang on, guys, it might just be the Tasmanian devil. Come on, into the storm cellar! You guys, I think this is a meth lab. Oh my god, you mean like as in D-R-U-G-S? Aren't those I-L-L-E-G-A-L? What's going on? What are you guys talking about? Uh-oh, someone's getting... Meth lab is our family's best chance to make meth in a lab. What? what are you talking about, Peter? I'm talking about saving the farm. Don't you see? This lab is just what we need to get back on our feet. No way, Peter. Dealing drugs is morally wrong not to... Peter, I haven't left yet. You sick whore. Look, it'd just be temporary, Lois, just for a bit. Just till we get the farm back on its feet. Till we get our family back on its feet. I don't know. I... Lois, we've always given our family whatever it... Everyone, now that I'm a meth dealer, I'm going to respond violently to outside noises that the rest of you don't hear. Uh, okay, Peter, but I... What was that? Dad, I think that was just a cricket. Then what the hell was that? That was just me saying... Listen to me. I want you to take care of my kids. I will. And I want you to be there. Whenever there's a bad joke, let them know. Let them know. Gee, I hope I didn't scare the cows. Yes, hello. I'd like to buy 400 blister packs of Actifed or similar pseudoephedrine-based decongestant. Why? I have a cold. Hey, everyone, I'm back. Hello? What the hell? Brian's home. What the hell is Brian? He, he don't get none of that. He wasn't here for it. Well, this is just great. I turned my back for a month and this place turns into a drug den. For your information, it is also a drag queen hangout. Hey, look, our math is on the news. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. Our... Oh, yeah? Well, if we're dealing so many drugs to Quahog, why is the Quahog envelope so light this week? 
Yeah, I say we go down there and talk to those people in Quahog. No, this is what I'm talking about. Mev has turned us into monsters for a place where there are zero beakers. Peter, don't you see? We left Quahog because of the crime problem, but now we've become part of that problem. Yo, what is this bitch tripping about? Look at our lives, Peter. Look at our family. I don't... Madhouse. Well, it's good to be back in our old house. How do we get this place back, by the way? Well, luckily the value of this place plummeted because this is a meth town now. You know, I think the lesson here is that if you're... Ten percent of our high school class is off to fight another battle. You stole that from The Onion. What? You stole that. I, I read that in The Onion about the war in Iraq. Well, if that's true, then I'd say they've got some sharp... Gave it to Ray today. I bet you she made a sandwich that wasn't very good, but he ate it anyway. And then she got mad at him because he gave her a funny look. I miss Ray. Oh. Becky Gunderson. Oh. No, wait. That's uh, Becky Gutierrez. Oh. oh. That's not news. Brian, did you see Revenge of the Sith? Yeah, I saw part of it. In five minutes, I am absolutely swamped. These requisition forms for new TIE fighters have to be down to Debbie in accounting by six, or Newt Gunray is going to pitch a tent in my waiting room. But, but, Brian, what, what are you doing? Uh-huh. All right, let's explore that. What the hell's wrong with you? Your skin's, like, moving around or something. I believe I'm having some sort of seizure. What kind of after-school activity? Wait, wait, hang on. Are those the right words? I want to rock and roll all night and party the first Thursday of every month? Yeah, shouldn't it be party every day? Well, I think the question is... See, look! I am Peter Griffin. I like fancy food. I like reading comic books and dressing like a dude. Yeah, rock and roll! Ah! Boy, I can't wait to lay into that recruiter. Yes, you'll be about... Peggy, would you send in the next? Oh, you're already here. Say, aren't you a little young to join the army? No, I have that, uh, Webster disease. The Kaiser. Somebody should put him on a roll. Over, we're coming over. And we won't come back till it's over, over there. Commercial. Damn, play me some filler, Johnny. They only got two things in Quahog, steers and queers. I don't see no horns on you. What does that make you, boy? Queer? Right. Oh, I got it? Yeah. <laughs> you... ah, don't screw us, Brian. It's in this footlocker. Let's say hypothetically that it does belong to someone in here. Would admission of that allow that person to keep it? Private Griffin, just for that, you have to listen to one track from this Chris Gaines. Back the way I came. Yeah, I'll follow tonight. Page 37, page 37. Yeah. Ah, ah, I mean, go back the way I came. Look, I, I didn't take my hand off the page. You've seen it, Lois, right? You've seen my hand on the page. Yeah. Breathing on the window. You idiot. That's condensation. It's on the outside. That's it. I will come back there, and so help me God, I will hit you with my ring hand. Chances. Let me ask you this. When was the last time you saw something through to the end? Well, I, uh... Never! That's when! You need this, Brian. You dropped out of college. You still haven't finished your novel. Do you know what you lack? Discipline! Chris, will you knock that off for two minutes? We want to talk to you. Take five, guys. What do you buttheads want? You've been playing with your friends long enough. Now it's time for you to come inside and do your homework. What the hell is his problem? I don't know. He's acting worse than you did when you tried to cover your farts by coughing. Okay, welcome to the PTA meeting. On this, this obstacle course represents the final test of your training. Almost all of you have completed it in the allotted time. But as you know, as a unit, you either all graduate or none of you graduate. Griffin. There's Waldo. Back up. Further. Move back some more. What? Back up some more. I'm as far away as I can get! Okay, have her enter. Action! Damn. Oh, this isn't so bad. Yes, the people are friendly. I say the media has totally blown this whole thing out of proportion. Okay, I go in store, I throw backpack, big boom. P60. What does that mean? I don't know, I just thought you are supposed to say names and numbers. Nobody's corrected me so far. Ah! What the hell was that? Uh, help! Help! Uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, it's causing his behavior, Peter. Uh, look at all this stuff. Ah, uh, listen to these lyrics. I rip it hardcore like porno flick bitches. I roll with groups causing all this. Yeah, it's all him or her's fault. Who does he or she think he or she is? Look, you can totally see his or her nipples. That's obscene, maybe. There's only one thing to do. You're right. I'm a homo. Any room for one more? Hell yeah! <laughs> 
All right, last resort. We get injured and go home with purple hearts. Shoot me in the foot. Get a deal. No, 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 don't point that at me. No, no, no. Oh, oh, come on, this is flat out just not safe. Oh, ow, 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 oh, you got me. Ow, ow, ow. Let me see. No, no, it's gross. Let me see it. No, no, I don't want a gross. Whatever we can get. I mean, we got two dead guys guarding the ammunition. Sorry, guys, you are here until the job is done. Great news, everybody. Democracy just kicked in. That seems unlikely. Amazing. There was only one man in the world with a vision to predict something like this. Damn. Tin has to be here somewhere. Good thing we distracted the guard with that riddle. What gets wetter as it dries? A towel. Hey, I've been had. Hey, look, right over there. God, Marilyn Manson! Hey there, Chris. You working hard or hardly working? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see you're in a band. Yep. Listen, your parents tell me you've been acting out a little bit. Parents has something to say. Chris, you don't really believe all the things in those song lyrics, do you? No. Then why you been acting like such a punk? I guess I don't really know. I think I have an